looks good. Sounds great. Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Lust Hill Harley Davidson, Southwest Iowa. Check out what we have today. This is an absolutely gorgeous, the color's right, I love the way this thing looks. An absolutely gorgeous, what year do you think it is? Looks like a 1969, doesn't it? But it's not, it's a 2021 Electroglide Revival, it's called. And it just, I'm an old man, I love the way these things look. Just look at all the details on this hot rod. Just phenomenal. The pipes are an add-on, these pipes. I think it's called Hi-Fi Blue and Birch White are the colors. That is the stock seat. Just a fabulous machine. I love the fairing. I just, uh, look at that front end. Isn't that just gorgeous? We're gonna talk a little bit about the details before we get into the nitty gritty. Look at, look at this. The frames are on the bags. Just phenomenal. Look at that. Oh, you can still take the bags off, I suppose, for cleaning. The big solo seat. You're up in the air a little more, kind of like a cop seat. Beautiful, beautiful. But yet, it has a six and a half inch TFT with the uh, modern boombox system, modern gauges. It's got the uh, absolutely wonderful, let's start over here. The absolutely wonderful Milwaukee M8 114 engine. I think that whoops out of a whopping uh, 97 horsepower. 118 foot-pounds of torque. That's 160 Newton meters. But look at that, isn't that just glistening in chrome? This is the kind of thing I like. I love the blacked out, but I really like the chrome. But look at that thing. The cam's down here, the valves are up here. Eight valves, four valves per cylinder. You know, push rod engine still. Fuel injected, of course. Here's the six-speed transmission. And uh, I think Harley should come up with a name for their six-speed transmission because it's one of the uh, most positive shifting, easy shifting transmissions that I get to use, and I do really enjoy it. It's uh, it needs its own, you know, moniker, I guess. You know, the motor's the M8. The tranny should have its own name too. When they when they did the work on that, they uh, so let's think one up. Y'all think of a name for that. Let, let uh, put in the comments below. Engine is a uh, ten and a half to one compression. I already told you the horsepower, ninety seven. Just a, a beautiful thing. And I've, I've ridden these motorcycles. Like I said, we're not going to ride today because uh, yeah, it's just too chilly out. But uh, one of the smoothest engines ever made, I think. The M8 is just, it, it's absolutely my favorite Harley engine. Just a hint, they're all my favorite Harley engines. But uh, this one is by far the uh, torquiest, smoothest, you know, the tra and the transmission that goes with it is just fabulous. And uh, I'm just going to mention this real quick. The clutches on these things. There is nothing like a clutch on a Harley Davidson. You let this out, no matter what the RPMs are, and the bike just scoots forward gently. It just does its job so well. Uh, I'm going to mention this real quick, too. This is one of 1,500 made. This is number 445. But uh, you know, look, look at that. Isn't that just phenomenal? Oh, wow. It has traction control. Well, we'll go over that in a minute. Um, what do we have on the front end? Well, we've got... Uh, Dual disc brakes, looks like fixed disc, four, uh, four piston calipers, very nice. Yeah, they, they are, they're the four piston calipers and I think they're like that front and rear. Let's see if we can get a look at the rear. The rear would be a single disc. I can't see the caliper, but I'm gonna, Harley's pretty good about that. One thing I will say about Harley is they have very predictable and effective brakes. I've, that's their, they just work very well. Um, 49 millimeter tubes. I could not find a travel distance. If you all know it, post it below. But uh, I just, they're covered tubes, so you don't have to worry about dirt and bugs and things like that. But I just love this front end. Isn't that just gorgeous? You know, the little road lights. The, and I think those are stock, the road lights are. And of course, the fairing. Who doesn't like that fairing? You know, I'm going to jump over here real quick. When I rode these bikes with that kind of fairing before, one of the things that I just love about it or the uh, gauges being up here, you know, line of sight here, gauges right there. You don't have to move your head very far down to, to get them. Um, nothing against the lower gauges, they're fine too, but I do like that. But okay, rolling right along. This bike has crash bars, front rear, we talked about that. Um, I've got a good friend, you know who you are. Found himself an empty road king with crash bars front rear and uh, we went to go riding one day and uh, his bike fell on its side five times. Can you guys guess why? 
well, no damage. A little, little uh, scuffing on the bars, but uh, nothing. The bags were fine. The bike was fine. <laughs> we were fine. I got him home safely, so, you know, life was good. But uh, so the, you know, these bars are very important to have, uh, I think. They're, and I think they look very good on this bike. But the, So moving on over, you know, the M8 engine, the big old floorboards. I love forward controls on a motorcycle. I love, I love floorboards. I think every bike should have them. Just a, a wow kind of thing. Big old seat. It's up on a shock. You can see the shock right there. Um, I suppose that's adjustable. Yes, it is. At least for compression. You know, the single-sided shifter. Looks like it's got a hookup for a battery tender. Hey, look at this color real quick. Let's get on the sun side. I didn't notice that earlier. You got the blue, the white, and then this is a flat black. Got the Harley emblem with little white inserts in there. That's pretty nifty, huh? I like that. I like, look, look at that whole look. Isn't that just gorgeous? Phenomenal, phenomenal. Seat height on this thing is 29.6 inches. And I believe that. That's pretty high for a Harley. For a Harley, that's high. For a normal motorcycle, that's not. But, uh, but uh, you know, it's got that tall seat. That's 752 millimeters. And, uh, I really like that seat. If it warms up and we get a chance, we're gonna have to take that for a ride because I'd like to see what that feels like. Uh, the tank is six gallons. That's uh, 22.7 liters. So you got plenty of travel with that. That's what that looks like. I like that. I like that a lot. This is a really nifty looking bike. The front tire is a uh, 90-16. This has 16s front and back, by the way. And the rear tire is a 180-65-16. Take a look at that width. 180. Just a gorgeous thing. That whole back end is just beautiful. I like the, uh, you know, I do like the wider stance. of the. I think it's the road team that has that standard, but I do like this too. I really do like the way that looks. And that works really good with this chrome, you know, especially that blue. It's just a fabulous looking thing. Fabulous. These are supposed to get about, I think, 43 miles a gallon is what I read. That's a pretty good distance with a six-gallon tank. The uh, wheelbase on a hot rod like this, let's step back over here, 64 inches. 64 beautiful, glorious inches of wheelbase. That's 1,625 millimeters. And uh, ground clearance, and you know, look at that. You're not going to believe this number. It looks taller than that. It's four and a half inches of ground clearance. It's 114 millimeters, and uh, you know, even right now, it looks like it has more than that. Even on its side stand, it looks like uh, more than that. I'd have to measure that, I believe. But it's a pretty good number, wouldn't you say? So what is the big number? The number we all want to know. And as large as this number is going to be, just remember, this is a very low center of gravity motorcycle with 16 inch wheels. What does this thing weigh? This thing weighs wet, 862 pounds that's 391 kilograms and uh, that may sound like an awful lot and i'll be honest it is but ride one of these ride one of these i started riding these large harleys regularly this year uh, last year actually and uh the biggest surprise i had was how much i enjoyed riding such a large comfortable and luxurious motorcycle and i think that's the uh, key thing there it's large but it's comfortable and it's luxurious. People see you on this bike. It's bright, it's gorgeous, it's shiny. You stand out on one of these. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> Public safety, right? Let's jump up to the uh, instrument panel or dash area. Um, we'll start with the fairing. I love this fairing. I took a, I, I've talked about it before. A friend of mine lent me his electric light and I took it down to Missouri, 300 mile ride, and uh, it had this fairing on it. And it rained about 150 miles of that ride, and about a 50, 50 to 100 of that, it was pretty heavy rain. And uh, my hands stayed dry. I had gloves on, and my gloves were dry when I got back. Now my legs were wet because he didn't have the lowers. But the fairing itself, my head was fine, my, my coat, my jacket, everything stayed fine because this fairing is so effective. I think his was a 2013. If you go back in the videos, you can find it. It's just an absolutely beautiful bike. So going back up here, you know, we talked about the gauges. So I got a fuel gauge, speedometer, 
tachometer and voltage gauge. We'll get to this in a minute. Let's jump over here. Um, traction control button and uh, I'm not sure if this has, you know, I bet it does, the uh, you know, the six axis IASU, IPU, the, the traction control and the brakes, the uh, switching on the brakes, the modulation between front and rear. Uh, I bet it does because it has the traction control button. But anyway, you can turn the traction control on and off. Here's the horn, lights, you know, the high-low, um, intercom talk, left blinker, home button for this, cruise control right here. And by the way, everything here is just top-notch. And oh, I want to, this is the uh, information button right over here. We'll get to that in a minute. Then on this side, hazard lights, uh, the run and shut off button, start button, the return button, the uh, right blinker, blinker is on the Harley or left is on the left side, right is on the right side on this kind of Harley anyway. And then this is another joystick. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Uh, another thing is the handlebar or the mirrors on this bike are monitor the handlebars. Some people like that, some people like it to the fairing. I've driven both models, different models with that. I think the uh, Ultra Limited had the, uh, one of the bikes had the mirrors on the fairing. And it was, it was grandiose. I loved it. Very smooth. Uh, the other had the mirrors up here like this, and, and uh, they work very well. The mirrors on a Harley are, you know, they're the half round with the elongation. And if you ride a lot of motorcycles, you learn really quick that that's a very nice way to have a mirror. But, uh, okay, down here looks like our road lights. Let's see what we can do about powering this up. This is our boombox system. Um, so up in here, we've got odometer. We've got the gear selectors down here. Uh, this button here controls this LCD right here, and I hope you can see that. Let's try to push that a little bit. There is a trip, the sun's in my eyes, trip A, trip B. That's front tire uh, reserve range. So we've got 37 miles range. The odometer of this motorcycle, oh my gosh, only 4,200 miles on this bike. It's brand new. Then back to trip A. Um, this down here, now the boom box, this is a touch screen, but it's also controllable by these two joysticks. And uh, this deserves a video all on its own. And so I'm just gonna just touch on this. I'm gonna say it's a six and a half inch full color TFT. I have played with a lot of these and I will tell you that the Harley Davidson version is so simple at the front end, but so adjustable deep end. There's so much you can do with this thing if you want to. But at the simple end, it's, uh, it's, it's very uh, user-friendly. So right now, if I want the radio, I hit that. It comes up to the radio. Uh, my music options are in here. I can touch that, AM, FM, weather band, you know, whichever I'd like. Return, hit that. And by the way, you can do that with the joystick. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, okay, this is like if you want news stations or information stations, sports, rock, it'll search for those kind of things, categories. Over here, we've got a list. Uh, scan, FM functions. I don't know enough about this to tell you about that, so I'm going to kind of skip off that. Uh, let's go back to home. Then we've got the navigation. What I usually do when I ride a bike like this, I put it on navigation. That gives me a screen of where the bike is right now. You can input. I think you can do it through the bike, or you can use it on your phone and transfer it over. You can input uh, destinations and things like that, uh, routes you want to take, things like that, on the, and it'll give you directions. If you have your headset on, it'll give you a uh, Bluetooth right to your headset. I think you have to have the module for that, but it'll do that. Uh, okay, let's back out of that, because like I said, I don't know enough about it. And here you can connect your phone. Um, no phone is connected, so we're just going to skip back out of that. The uh, other thing is there's a compass down here. Let's hit settings. There's all kinds of adjustments you can get into it. And like I said, the amount of adjustment you can do with this is so in-depth, we're just gonna skip that. Let's go over here to uh, this thing. So these are the bass, the treble, things like that. The volumes, this only has speakers on the front. Some bikes will have speakers on the back also, but this one only has speakers on the front. Headset volumes, rider heads, you know, things like that. Um, let's skip out of that because I don't know enough about it. But I, if you come to a dealer, if you come to Lus Hills, Make sure you check that out. I want to jump up here real quick. See that flashing traction control light? You can use the traction control button to shut that off. I think the motorcycle's been running. But you can shut that off and on. Uh, right now the traction control's still on. Okay, yeah, bike must have to be running. But you can shut off traction control on this bike and that light will stay on solid. Uh, when it's flashing like that, that means it's getting ready to arm. You can also hit the traction control button and see that little rain cloud? That means you're in rain mode and that limits horsepower and adjust the traction control settings and things like that. Another thing this does is ABS, has the ABS like once the, bike's, once the bike starts moving it sets itself and ABS works fine. Okay let's uh let's jump out of that. 
that's kind of boring to me. That's not boring. It's just, this is what I like. I love the beauty of the bike. It's just, these motorcycles are just pure art, rolling art. It's just a fabulous looking machine. I love the wire wheels. I love the aesthetic of the 1969 classic look. The pipes are an excellent add-on that they put on. Everything about this bike is just, you know, look at this, this metal cage on the back here. I mean, that's, that's just an absolutely beautiful thing. And uh, you know what? I really want to ride it, but I can't. If you're interested in a bike like this, get a hold of Jimmy here at Lust Hills Harley-Davidson. This bike, a new bike, a used bike, any kind of Harley-Davidson. They've got a whole room full of used ones over yonder. They've got a whole room full of new and used ones in here. They can help you out. They've got, I think, over 200 motorcycles there. I think they've got a dozen trikes right now. So uh, get yourself down here to Lust Hills Harley-Davidson and ask for Jimmy. He can help you out. Now, if it's warm enough where you're at, get out there and ride, my friends. Life is good. Wahoo! It looks good.